mosquito. <clears throat> Hi there, it's Elizabeth with Crafty List Creations. Let me just lift up the camera a little bit. Come on and join me, whoever's out there this late. Surprise, I'm on late to see where's all my night owls. I gotta, I gotta look at, check to see who's on here with me. To say hello as you come in so I'll know who's on here with us do, do, do. I gotta spread the love hold on let me show you what I got tonight happy Thursday night I know it's late but well just I'm just wondering who's gonna be here with me this evening gonna do something fun okay so surprise Hokitoki, hokitoki. Let me see. I, I gotta see who's saying hello. Okay, I got 10 people on with me. Just say hello as you come in so I'll know who's on here with me and maybe spread the love, like launch that arrow, shoot it out for me so we can have more people up in here. If there's anybody um, awake. Okay, so chunky yarn night tonight gonna make something fun with this chunky yarn on uh, cross unique in the cross uh, unique in the creek crossboard <laughs> unique in the cross <laughs> and a little bit of a uh, what is five eighths ribbon from the Dollar Tree okay so uh, we'll see who's on here with me so we can Say hello. What's this? Sorry, I'm talking to my, my boy over here. What's this? Oh, he didn't hear me. He's probably got his earphones on. I'm just going to go grab something over there quickly. Hold on. I need this. Okay, this one. I need this for my... Uh, for my my what's you may call it for my iPad here so I can see who's all hi Levette how are you hello James hello Kira okay so 10 people so that's good better than none all right so let's get started here right away I'll put the camera down if you have questions just ask me so you see in all those different kinds of chunky yarn um, uh, out there, uh, wreaths out there. So I'm gonna show you something a little bit different here with this 5 8 ribbon. I haven't seen anybody do this. So I got this at Dollar Tree, but you can get by this. Uh, this is not wired, by the way. For what we're gonna be doing, we won't need a wired ribbon. I did have a wired one like this, but it's probably still in my Christmas been somewhere so I didn't look for it but this is going to be okay right here but what what we're going to be doing so this is chunky yarn uh number number seven number seven okay white of course and um so we're gonna go ahead and make a cross with this chunky yarn right here and see who's Hi, Stacy. I see all of my night owls over here. I was wondering if there's gonna be, there was gonna be someone on here, a surprise, uh, li night live or whatever. So I'm just gonna get some. Although we don't need to get. Okay, so let's get started here. I'm overthinking things right here. So I'm gonna cut out again. This is not wired, as you can see but we I don't need a wired one. So I'm gonna cut this at, um, how much did I cut with the other one? I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing here. This is my version of the cross, cross wreath that everybody's been doing out there with the chunky yarn. This is my version. 
this is what I'm going to be sewing you with the uh, this ribbon. And also I'm going to be adding this one, one and a half inch ribbon into it as the bow. Because, again, this is not wired, so it won't hold up nicely. So that's my version of the uh, ribbon chunky yarn cross that's out there, you know, all those beautiful ones. So that's what we'll be doing. So we'll need some glue and we need scissors and this 5 8 ribbon. Again, I bought it at Dollar Tree when I went to Edmonton this uh, past God just got home yesterday, so I took my girl out. So we need zip ties, and I need to cut this at uh, 12 inches, three of them. I'll just say I'll just say 12 inches. Okay. So three of them. That's what I'll be sewing you. So five eighths ribbon, uh, inch ribbon. So any ribbon will do. It's just that again, I don't have. I uh, mine is um probably still stashed in a bin somewhere. So so what I'm gonna be doing here. This is what I did with the other one. I'm sure there's gonna a lot of different ways that you can add your. Uh, ribbon into the into the onto the the cross but this is how i did the first one so i'm just gonna stick st i'm sticking with it so if you have questions i'm glad to answer okay slide and slide oh so hi yeah it is cute thanks stacy you're still up too. It's uh actually it's a little oh, past nine over here in uh, northern Alberta, little Red River Cree Nation. So I was just a few lives ago. I asked a few a few um I asked some of you if I could if anybody would join me on a live like this during the night like I might pop in whenever I have time so I'm just gonna add some glue in there just a little bit because this might not hold but but what I'm be I'll be doing it'll it'll hold up nicely so this is okay so this is the back of the the cross by the way the back of the cross So a little bit of glue on all three. I'm just popping the uh, zip tie into the into the hole, back in the, into the hole. And it's not gonna affect what I'm gonna be doing here, but it's, it'll be covered with the yarn anyway, so we don't need to. I can't pull that in there. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I was like, I, I should go live and sew, sew my cross, sew my version of the chunky yarn cross that's been roaming out there. All beautiful designs, by the way. Everybody had awesome ideas on those, on that cross wreath. So I grab my zip tie gun and cut those off. Okay. So we need three 12 inch cut um, ribbon tails. Get in there, get in there. I lost my other cutting thingy. There we go. Okay, so next, so I did glue those down so they'll, they'll hold nicely. So again, I need another zip tie for this one. I could have added in there with the with this ribbon but nah I didn't so this again this is the way I did the first one so I don't want to show you a different way as I might not be so lucky and make it as pretty pretty as the other one okay 
So I'm just going to add this in there now, just a little long. Right in the middle, or here, or here, whatever, wherever you want to put it. Okay, cut that off. And now comes the good and fun part. So I did grab three of these little rolls at the Dollar Tree because I figure I might not, I might need more than that. So everybody's watching. It says everybody's watching. Everybody's watching. Thank you. Hi, Patricia. Hello. How are you? Hi, Amy. Hello, Mary. Um, oh, thank you, Patricia. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so so now I'm going to flip these over. Again, these are not wired. Flip these over. And then I'm just going to start wrapping. I'm wrapping and wrapping. And I'm going to add some glue right up in there. Right here. Or did I do that? What did I do? Hmm, no, actually, this middle one. No, 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 no. This middle one go stays down here, and these these ones on the side stay go in, and th this one stays down. So I'll show you why. So I'm going to glue those, glue those down together. Oh, my glue gun. Could have burned my mat there. I was just dropping, dropping it on the mat. So I'm gonna, just going to run some glue right across the cross, across the cross, and then just glue that together. Squeeze the bottom part of the chunk yarn together with the top part, making sure these are laying flat. Okay. Together. Probably seen monkey creations do this, so that's the probably same same way I'm doing starting mine. So, okay, there's a here comes the wrapping part. So I'm just gonna. Start wrapping the cross two times. I'm just gonna put that over, making sure that these are together, not, not going over the cross, okay? And I'm gonna put flip these over, and I'm gonna wrap twice twice okay twice put this over here and flip these over easy it's so easy and then I'm gonna grab twice it has to be twice because if I did did three wraps it won't um, even up at the end over here I tried wrapping it three times and putting the ribbon over and over but didn't work out so twice is good so I'm gonna wrap it you could put some glue in between the the chunky yarn but I'll do that after as some yarn um when they, uh, the, some yarn stretch out, so this might stretch over time because I've been, I've crocheted um, way back in my past and I, I know that the yarn stretches over time and, but if you do, if you add some glue, it won't um, mess up your, uh, your wreath okay that makes sense see see how that looks so far it's just like a little um, checkerboard <laughs> so no, no 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 what am I doing okay this one all right there you go wrap it twice again so by the way this chunky yarn is numbered at seven so the 
So it is the chunkiest one, I, I believe. I hope I have enough to make it up here. Okay. Um, this one over here. And wrap it twice over. I was just thinking um, when I saw Stacy's um, beautiful peppermint um, flower that she made on our, uh, our in the creative coaching group on the Coach Change. I thought that a Christmas tree would look awesome if you made it like on a triangle board. You made it like this, but I don't want to try it. Okay. So I hope, again, I hope I have enough of the ribbon. I might not, but we might, we'll add more if it doesn't, if it isn't enough. So I'm just gonna keep wrapping it twice. Put that at the bottom. Make sure these are lined. Okay. Isn't that pretty already? I likes, I likes. Like, I, I love the blue one. When I watched Monkey's Creations, Creator Cross, I, re, I was like, light bulb. What if five, five eighths ribbon, I wonder if it would work, or, or um, the other kind, like the seven eighths ribbon, probably work. They're all different kinds out there. Like, there's, um, um, what do you, what do you call it? Like, there's... Um, country style um, ribbon so yeah isn't that cute already thumbs up if you like my idea hi Tara how are you good evening friends come on in and join me just making a cross wreath with chunky yarn tonight um, again this ribbon is not wired Wired ribbon would work. Any type of ribbon probably would work. And I'm running out of ribbon right for, for, the, for these ones here. I could have cut it longer. <laughs> but I forgot how long I cut the other one, the blue one there. <laughs> but we'll add more ribbon somehow. If you run out though. We'll, we'll learn together how to add ribbon. See? So I'm just going to add glue right in the middle because again i ran out glue that down fix that will fix this problem this is what you do when you don't have enough ribbon you just cut cut off more probably that much and i'll just glue it down right in there and that's gonna Right up in there. Okay. So I'm going to run out of that one too. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's wrap it around again. A couple of times. A couple of times we'll wrap it around. All right. I could have cut my ribbon longer, but I was a little bit stingy on it. I wonder why, because I have three rolls here. I shouldn't have been stingy. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Let's fix that problem. This is how you fix you fix your problem your, uh, when you cut your ribbon too short. This is how you fix it. What not to do is cut your ribbon short. So two lessons learned right here. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So that one is good. What about this one? I'll just glue it on top. I should have glued it down down there anyway, so I'll just glue it right here. And it'll be okay. See? Let's let that dry a little bit and let's see who's on with us tonight. It's not, it's, it's not, um, we're on live there, uh, Catherine. So, be good. Hi, Ruth. There's all my friends up, oh, still up this late. 
Some of you are probably from Canada. Most of you, I think. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. So, so what are we doing here now? So, wrapping it twice again. One, one, and two. Okay. See how fun chunky yarn is? I got a lot of projects lined up for you all here. Um, for chunky yarn, I have I bought a I, I bought quite a bit, quite a bit of it. So. so there's all different types of reeds out there um, that you can uh, um, that you can do with chunky yarn, but 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 but. Um, you can hang this up outside because once what happened there what happened there my friends <laughs> mistake rewind my my uh, checkerboard looks weird so I gotta fix it <laughs> oh my gosh somebody must have seen that okay so what did I do wrong here? So this one should have been over, over here. Like that. Okay, I was, I was wondering why it looked off. And I was chattering away. Okay, so this one goes over and these go over over here. Okay, so I'll wrap it again twice. Pay attention to my work. Okay, over and over. And this one goes over here. There's visitors out there upstairs. A few visitors up upstairs. So I'm just gonna wrap it twice again. This is the last two wraps here, I guess. This is so fun to make. Easy. Easy and fun. Okay. Let's probably pull some of this out. Make it look a little bit uniformed. So isn't that pretty? So right here, I'm going to cut this off. Cut it. And I'm going to zip tie this right in this corner up in here like so and cut it so now this can be glued down you don't really have to but I'm going to so it'll hold and this can be glued down as well. Okay. So that's that side is done. It's a little puffed up here, but I can always stick it back, stick back in there a little bit. So this is not wired ribbon ribbon again. So you can always um adjust these so they'll be a little bit straighter. Isn't that pretty? I likes. So let's do the both sides. Let's do all the cross, of course. So this time I'm gonna cut this probably 12 inches again, so I won't, so I'll have enough. So by the way, this is Dollar Tree ribbon that I'm using right here. There's all different types of uh, wired ribbon on Unique in the Creek. Uh, five eighths and seven eighths. So, if y'all are interested in making something like this, you can go right uh, ahead. And again, this cross cannot be cannot go outside. 
chunky yarn. If it gets wet, it'll um, ruin the wreath. So. so if you think there's a different way of attaching the ribbon, or maybe just gluing it down in the back, um, whatever, you're, uh, whatever you want to do, but this is how I... How I started mine again, so I'm gonna do that. See, it just slides off. It's best to glue it down, I think. You're gonna wrap it over it anyway, so wrap over it anyways. Okay, so let's cut off this zip tie. I'll just glue it down. Okay, oh, I need that for the I need that for the, the uh, chunky yarn. Isn't this cool? Who's going to try this? I was going to try making one with 5 8 ribbon or, or um, 7 8 ribbon. Red, white, and blue would look awesome in this in this um, style wreath, right? Red, white, and blue ribbon. Doesn't that look beautiful? The stripes. Okay. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do is put these over. I know these are a little bit long, but that's all right. I'm just going to leave this hanging like that. So I'm just going to start wrapping it. Okay, let's start wrapping it. I think I've got this very good here. Start wrapping it. Make sure it's at the edge here so I can glue it down. Making sure. <clears throat> Red, white, and blue. I'd, I'd love to see somebody make a cross like that. If you can still see the board like I do here, I can go always cut a little piece of chunky yarn and glue it down over here. It's not a problem. Ready? So, wrap it twice like that again. I'm going to put this over and put these down and do the same thing. Of course, mine is going to be red and white because it's Canadian colors, right? <laughs> so that's why I made mine red and white. So this over and this. Okay. Start wrapping it. Again, I'm going to go back and glue some of this down because, like, like I said, yarn um, stretches over time. And so I would just like to make sure mine doesn't sag, right? Twice. So I can't believe there's 30 people up this late. I mean, watching me. There's more of you than there is um, when I go live during the day on, on the weekends. <laughs> it's, it's, it's awesome. Thank you all for joining. If you can't stay or you're going to watch the replay, it's okay too. If you feel like going to bed. I just want, I just wanted to make something because I haven't really made m anything much um, because we were out um, me and our girl were out um, in Edmonton um, with her appointment which went well by the way 
um, she's healing pretty good, so, so blessed. And she's healing. So, I'll wrap it twice here again. I don't need, I don't really need to, but I'm going to. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30 wrappings of the chunky yarn on this side. So 30. And right over here, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 on this side. And then I'm assuming that it's going to be the same for the top part here too. So, so that's good. See, I cut that, I overcut that, but that's okay. Okay, that side is done. Just gonna zip tie that back in there. Find that little corner right there. There it is. And zip tie it down. Okay, cut that off. I have too much. I cut too much. I'm just going to cut it off. Is this a dollar, a dollar ribbon, one dollar ribbon anyway, so don't worry about it. So I'm just going to make sure when I glue this down, I'm not covering the holes because I'll need these holes to add the bow in there. I'll just cut this down a little bit more. Glue this down. Because if I don't, these might come off. So, ready? Okay, so let's go on to this side now. I really didn't need three, three, um, I cut it 10 inches this time. I really didn't need, um, Three rolls. One roll would have been enough. Actually, two rolls would have been enough for one wreath like this. Because I'm all, almost out of this one already. So, how many yards is this, by the way? Four yards. Okay. So, what I did with the other side, I'll do it the same thing on this side. I'm going to glue this down rather than use zip ties because it'll slip out. Okay. Glue that down. Get in the back. <laughs> and I'll get a grab a zip tie here for the chunky yarn. There's 32 of you all here. Thank you again. Okay. I'm gonna start wrapping this one now. Oops, that went into the glue gun. I want to see a red, white, and blue one. I really want to see a red, white, and blue one here. I I almost made one there on on the uh, on the day of the nine eleven, but decided not to. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna try to line these at the edge here so I can glue. Put glue on it. Hold on. Glue on here along the edge of the cross. Turn it around and try to get these glued in together. Like so. Out that burns. I burned myself because I'm looking at it upside down. 
we'll just glue it. We'll, I'm just gonna glue some more chunky on the sides there. Some more chunky. Okay. Wrap it twice. Flip this over. Isn't that cute? I like that look. Very Canadian ish. I wonder I wonder if um I was just thinking too when you use chunky yarn, I wonder if you could you know add your ribbon longer, right? Right across like that, like um in a slant. Wouldn't that look awesome? Would would do you think you do you guys think that that would work? Like um stripes like that with ribbon slanted that would be totally awesome too but that's but i'm not a a wing it kind of girl so that would probably be myself from monkey's creations to do one of those or somebody else that's an idea to throw out there if you're gonna try something like this Stripes, like a, not a candy cane cross, but stripes, red, white, and blue stripes. That would be so pretty. There's a lot of ideas in my head about this, and a small, you know, five-eighths ribbon, inch ribbon. But I'm just showing you guys so you guys can, uh, so, um, one of you can try whatever you like. Just here to inspire. Because I love making cross reads and it's one of my uh, best, best reads out there, I think. Is to make a cross read. Favorite. Favorite thing to do is the cross in Mikina Creek. So what do you guys say? You guys gonna try this somehow? Who's gonna try this? Am I stopped? <coughs> Would be cute with purple for Easter. Oh, yes. There's those ideas that I was trying to, um, you know, I wanted to get your creative juices going. I couldn't wait to start. I couldn't wait till Sunday. I had to come on late. I have a I have other stuff I wanna do anyways too. Two more wraps for on this side. Now go buy those five eighths ribbon. <laughs> five eighths inch ribbon. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut that off. I love your I loved your uh, peppermint candy, Stacy, when you made it on the creative coaching. It was so pretty. I wanna I wanna make one. I don't wanna make one. Peppermint candy as well. <clears throat> Let me cut some of this off. Right. This is dollar dollar tree ribbon again, so it doesn't matter if I waste it. It's not wired. Red, white, and blue. Okie dokie. That side is done. We're almost done here. One more side and cover cover this part up and then it's gonna be done. I could have I could have um 
finished. I could have um, could could have been a whole roll for this project, but I ended. I um, you know, I wasted a lot. So maybe a whole roll would be enough of the four yard roll. So I'm just gonna open up another one and cut it. Ready? That's about 10 inches. Okay, I'm gonna glue those down. Became, suddenly it became so quiet. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. One more and then we're done. Try, I'm not going to try to burn myself here now. <laughs> but I know I'm, I'm going to burn myself for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, a little bit more. Oops. Don't drop. Okay. That's too much glue right there. Out. Out. I have finger thingies. Those rubber finger thingies. But they're somewhere over there. I didn't have time to look for them. Because I was like... I want to go live. All of a sudden, I wanted to go live. Okay. I got, I got yarn on my fingers. Okay, let's, let's wrap this twice. Again, put this over these over here and wrap it again whoops no 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 don't do this to me okay wrap it oops i gotta unwind a little bit more here ready one and then two You guys watching? Still watching? No questions? Let me see. Mm. Do boats? Oh, yes! Like a... What do you call those you know, wreaths? Do, wouldn't that be a lot of... Uh, a lot of work, though? <laughs> to, to put... <laughs> To put this ribbon on both sides. Never thought of that. It's a good idea, Stacy. Good idea. Okay. It's so quiet upstairs. It's never this quiet this time of night. I told him that I was going, all of a sudden, mommy's going live here. Kids are not in bed yet, but they will be here after. After this one. So isn't this neat? Another inspiration to throw out there. For all you beautiful, wonderful, awesome wreathers. And again, this cross cannot be hung, cannot be outside, because it'll get ruined. Oops. Here I go again, almost making a mistake. It'll get ruined. And 
thank you to my uh, common sister-in-law for bring, bringing some of this beautiful white chunky yarn. Um, from uh, the city where she, she bought some for me. I asked her and she was happy to do that. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So that's this is the last one. Okay. So I'm gonna cut that off. Oh, hopefully she's watching. She sort of knew what I was gonna make. I showed her the pictures and I was like, "Can you bring me chunky yarn?" I did order some on Etsy, but they're a little bit dark. They're not they're not white ones. I wanted white ones. There's more, mostly for Halloween wreaths that I want to do on the ring board. I'm gonna cut some of this off. Making sure that they're tight in there. Okay, glue those down. Glue them down. Oop, I almost cut that two star two sword, but that's gonna be okay. Because right here, I'm gonna cut this because I don't need it. This is what I'm going to do for this part here to cover it. I'm going to grab the chunky yarn, measure it over like this, and just going to glue it down. Okay, just going to glue it down. And that's how I'm going to do that. Because we're going to cover this anyway with a bow, so it doesn't matter if it's, it doesn't really have to be perfect, a red bow. Just going to make sure I'm not gluing anything on the, on the holes there, because I need those holes for the bow again. Some more. A few more. Cut, I'll cut some here right away. Ready? Some glue, 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 glue. Hole open. It's <laughs> funny. Okay, that doesn't didn't come out right. So pretty. Like the blue one was a uh, trial and error sort of thing. Um, you could tell that um, it was a little. You can see that it's a, some of these are a little bigger and some of them are not so. This was my first first try at the cross that I couldn't get out of my head and I had to, you know, quickly put it down on the board and so it'll stop um, bothering me. <laughs> okay. Two more and then we'll make the bow. And then we'll call it this one. I hope I'm not keeping you all up too late. Okay, so a little bit, one more, and then good to go. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay. So that's down. It's good enough right there. Let's make the bow. See how that looks. 
So over here, we're just going to keep it open. It's the back anyways. Some glue strings. Okay. Grab the bowl. Easy bowl maker. We don't need the glue. Let's grab this. This is a one and a half right here. Glitter ribbon. So I'll just probably make the tails a little, probably 12 inches. Unless there's not too much on here, but I'll try to, try to have enough here. 12 inch tail. And it's tail. This a five inch loop. Make it a little smaller. Five inch loop. This one wants to crunch up and together. Two. Okay. Will I have enough for a three, two, one bow? Let's see. Six, five, four, three, two, one bow. I haven't made one of those in a while. Easy Monkey's Creations bow. There's all this glitter is gonna be in all over the place now. So there's three loops. I might have enough here, friends. I still, I do have a, a red ribbon somewhere, but so four inches, four inches, uh, yeah, four inches. This ribbon is just, you know, look, <laughs> look how it folds. <laughs> Will she have enough? Let's find out. Will she have enough? And she doesn't. So one single, one little loop in the middle. <laughs> That's good enough right there. Okay. That'll, that'll look okay too like this. So three loops at five inches, and two at four, and one little loop at three inches probably. So grab a pipe cleaner. Where did I put it? I had one right here with me. Grab another one here, hold on. Not here, not here, not here. Oh, here it is. Okay. Look at all the glitter that just came off. Grandson is just crying. Maybe he wants to go to sleep. Visiting upstairs. <clears throat> wow, look at all the glitter. Okay. Let's add that bow right in the middle. Right in the middle of the Look for the holes. 
Like there's one. The other one. Um, right across. Right. This one right here. Here we go. So I'll show you in the back where it cuts the bowl. Okay. Now I'm squashing it. You can always go back in and add um chunky around back in back in there if you want. Uh, it's up to you. My loops are kind of uh, different, but that's all right. Pull some of it up. There we go. So there. Isn't that fun? I might curl, get these a little bit curl here. A little bit of a curl, just a little. There, I'll mess with it a little bit later. <laughs> messing with it here so I'm just I, I will go back in and add um, uh, a little bit of uh, what you may call it in there chunky yarn find the hanging holes which are the two up up in there yep just put it hold on I'll show you I'll lift the lift the camera up here so you can see a little better. Okie dokie. Hmm. So that's how it looks in the back. So I, I will go in and cover the uh, the back with chunky yarn and a little bit more over here as uh, I can still see the board. Over here too and over here and all sides. But I won't do it here. So because probably got the idea of what I'm trying to get at here. Hi friends, kind of sweaty. So, there it is. How do you like that? Is that pretty? Look at that, look at how it simmers. So shiny. We'll hold it against the, oh, I'll put it over here. So you guys can have a better look. Actually, it doesn't sew because the door is white. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> right on. T-shirt, so beautiful. <laughs> um, a lo lounge around shirt. So how do you like that? Did you guys enjoy that? Thank you. I, sure, I hope you guys are going to go and try this because it is fun. It's easy to do. You don't need, really need wired ribbon for this part here because this is not this is not wired. Again, this is from Dollar Tree, but it's all different types of rib ribbon out there that are not wired. So yeah, it's not pretty. It's like a checkerboard cross. <laughs> It's red and white, Canadian colors, right? I'm just uh, anxious to see what you guys can come up with uh, with this design. I need to cover this here. So I'll, um, I'll look at unique wreath creators to see who, who will be making a cross like this. All right, so that's it. So chunky yarn. Five eighths inch ribbon and one and a half inch ribbon for the bow and uh, a unique in the creek cross board. And you got yourself a cross, an indoor cross. This can't be used outside. So it's 
beautiful. So that's all I got. If you don't have any questions, no questions. No, no, no questions. All right. So that's it, you guys. You guys have a good night. I'll see you probably this weekend. I'll see you. I won't say when. So, but I will come in uh, and uh, share something with you all um, sometime this weekend. All right. Okay, you guys have a good night and. Stay blessed. Bye.